Jose, hi, man. how are you guys? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I'm very fine. Thanks. And tell me, tell me a little bit about the weekend. Um, not much. Um, working. <laughs> ah, come on. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Working. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was work. Okay. From when did you work? Saturday, Sunday? What? Um, um to um, from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. Um and GNO. And Saturday and Sunday, uh, personal. Saturday and Sunday? Um, personal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But always working, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad to see that we have several people connected. Look at that. We have Mercy, we have Juan, we have Jaime. And you know, everybody's ready to go. Excellent. So today we're going to be finishing up our unit two. But before we finish up unit two, let's make sure that everything is clear. Um, yeah. In this moment, any questions about the platform? Any questions about exercises or things that you're having problems with? Yeah, I have, I have a little problems in the platform and the middle terms. Tell me, tell me, what happened in the midterms? Um, I tried, I tried to answer, but um, I can do it. Um, let me see here. Okay, all right. So go ahead, Jose, take a look at it. Anybody else? Any Anyone else have any problems? No problem, teacher. I already seen clear. Okay. All right. Well said, don't worry. You look for it and then we'll try to help you. Many times in the midterm, the most difficult part is the punctuation, making sure that everything is correct. Mm -hmm. And rewriting in the middle term, section two. Mm. Be writing. The writing part in the midterm. Yes. Okay. I and... I'm trying to give Answer back. Okay, let me take a look. Midterm, ready. Hang on. Only number one and number five. The letter B, right? Yes, letter B. Okay. And number two, three, four. I, I. I can't do it. Hmm. Number two, three, and four, no. Four. Two, three, and four. So numbers two, three, and four, you couldn't do it. Yes. Okay. All right. What did you put for number two? Um, you say, please say, please take out um, the garbage. Uh huh. And the option is, will you? I try to change in, but
I don't get it. Okay, I, uh, I need you to, to write it or to share your screen. What did you put for number two? Um, would you take the garbage, the garbage out, please? Okay, so the please is at the beginning. Oh, um, let me... Because if you look at the sentence, the please is at the beginning, not at the end. Oh, please. Comma. Space. Okay. Okay. Uh, give me a second. So I think in the midterm is it's about the the Not, your writing order, huh? Nothing. Nothing what? Nothing. You, it is not correct for you, teacher. Yes. It's not correct. What is the lesson? Uh, he his question is about the midterm. But I think he has problems in writing it, not, not for the answers. I think the problem is when you write. Uh, for example, you said number number two, right? It's, uh, you said, would you take out? For example, I say, would you please take out or take the garbage, uh, take the garbage out or take out the garbage, whichever of the two. I think that's the right one. Mm -hmm. Let's check. Uh huh. So it, I, I think I think it's something that you're writing. The way that you're writing it is incorrect, but not not your answer. It's only the way that you maybe you put the punctuation incorrect or the spelling or something is not right in the way that you're putting it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but don't worry, keep trying and we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it goes on uh, to make sure that you, you work on it. But I can see that it's not the answer. You have the right idea. It's just the grammar. So it's maybe it's a comma, maybe it's a punctuation or, or a question mark. It's something like this that is making the answer wrong. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, uh, welcome everybody else. Jose, keep trying it and just try the different punctuations and it'll work out. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Hang yeah. on, let me just write. All right, guys, so we see Let's go ahead and continue. We're going to make small groups. We're going to discuss our weekends and make sure that we're asking questions and making sure that we follow up. So what did you do with your partner? What happened? Where did you go this weekend? Only a quick five minutes. Practice your questions in the past tense. Remember, there are different ways to ask in the past tense. There's the auxiliary with did. There is the auxiliary with was. There's the auxiliary with were and have. Okay. So remember to use it. Okay, so let's make our questions. You ready? Yes, I win. Excellent. Okay, let's go for it. Let's make our small groups and try it.
Hey, Carla. All right, I'll put you into a group. Hello, Mary. Mary, can you hear me? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Mary. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Excellent, excellent. How was your weekend? Uh, it was good. Okay, why? Because uh, it was to visit my family. Okay. I went. I went to visit my family. In Santo Tomas. Okay. I visited my mother and my brothers. Repeat the sentence, Mary. I visited Mm -hmm. my family it's Mary, go ahead. okay Mary go ahead. try again with more fluency Mary you you speak very slowly you, I visit my no try fluently Mary go ahead okay and the last I visited my mother in Santo Tomas mm -hmm. and I was I was to make pupusas. I made I made pupusas. 
Mm -hmm. Delicious pupusas. And, and then one should be reversed. I'm sorry, Mary. What did you say? Hi. Mary, Casi no me escucho. Hay que tener mucho ruido allá atrás, la tele, gente hablando. No, it's very difficult to hear you, Mary. Okay, excuse me. It's okay. Creo que estás en un ambiente donde hay teles encendidas y, y ruido así y todos. Pero, pero nos escucha a nosotros, Mary. Mary. Eh, Te escucha medio cortado también, Mary. Mercy, lo tenés apagado tu audífono si querías decir algo. Oh, no, teacher. It's, no. it's okay. okay. Thank you. Solo, you're welcome. Solo comiendo el lapicero. Okay. All right. No problem. All right. Making sure. Excellent. All right. So let's go ahead and continue. Good. The idea was only for us to talk with our partners a little bit. Excellent. Mary was telling me a little bit about her weekend. We're going to go ahead and continue. Here we are in 2.9. In 2.9, we have the knowledge check. The knowledge check is all of the information that we have about the idea of what they are talking about. Is an alarm system, a cell phone, a laptop. So with your partner, you read the sentence. For example, here's the sentence. And then you select, what is it that they're talking about? Super easy, right? So try to keep it close to protect the screen. With your partner, we take a look and try to answer all of them very quickly. Only seven sentences, not a long time, only a few minutes to make the decision. You ready? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Let me try. There.
Okay, we're ready? Super easy, right? Easy teacher. Yes. Okay, what's number one? Laptop computer. Laptop computer. Laptop computer. Okay, good. Number two? Alarm system. Alarm system. Okay, good. Number three? Alarm system. Alarm system. Mm. Number four? Laptop computer. Laptop computer. computer. Laptop computer. Excellent. Number five? Alarm, Alarm system. System. Okay. Excellent. Number six? The cell, phone. Cell, phone. cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. And number seven? Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Okay. Let's take a look. Super easy. All of them we have correct. Look at that. All of them. Easy, 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 easy. Any questions? No. No. No? Not too sure. All right. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, here in exercise 2.10, we have an objective. Who would like to read the objective? Me, teacher. Thank you, Tatiana. Go ahead. In this class, you will read an article about technologies in the future. Develop skills in identifying paragraph topics and reading for specific information. Thank you very much. Only one pronunciation, and that is identifying. Identifying. Correct. Very good. So we're going to read a day in your life in the year 2020. Imagine this is old. 2020 passed. Yeah. It's old. <laughs> but this was an article that they wrote. This was an article that they imagined was going to be in the future. So I want you to think about, we're going to make small groups and think about the future. How do you imagine it's going to be the future in 20 years, 30 years? Ah, what do you imagine? Let's start off with some ideas. What, what do you think are some main ideas? Um, in... Um... In, in 20, 2049, the cars will fly. Oh, okay. So the cars will fly. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, what else? I I attend the the robot for make the the things in the house in the office is a good uh, <laughs> invention for me okay okay good excellent well before we begin the reading in the chat we have a link for some questions there are many questions there's part a student a and student b there are different questions for each partner we're going to take five minutes not necessarily answer all the questions, but select the questions that for you are interesting about the future, okay? So a few moments, select the ones that you think are interesting, not necessarily all of them, but to discuss the future before we read the article. It's okay? Okay. All right. Jose, you okay?
Okay. So tell me, what were some of your ideas for the future? No ideas for the future. The five minutes quiet. No hablamos, teacher. No dijimos nada. No sé qué decir. What happened? What happened? Tell me. In the future, teacher, I I hope uh, I'm working only in my house and receive money. Uh, no necessary go go out uh, uh, outside and travel. Only my house. <laughs> Like working. in the call center, like in the call center, work yeah. from home. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Now, now have many opportunities to work from home. Before the pandemic, it doesn't exist. But now many Salvadorian companies, you can work from home too. Oh, okay. Hi. I think in the future we'll have, we'll have a solar panel technology, a space to rinse, to rinse, I don't know what is the pronunciation, and flying cars. I think the, techno the techno technology will be better than now. Okay, all right. Good, so flying cars, technology. The flying cars, many people imagine. I remember even from the 50s, the 60s, the cartoons, the Jetson. Jetson families. Yeah, the Jetson family. The people always imagine the flying cars. Yes. Um, the chair, yeah, so I... the people can be around. Teacher, yes. In my in my house, uh, I have a technology radius. This is radio size. Only I say, for example, hey Google, what is it? <laughs> there you hey go. Google, what time is it? Google, qué hora son? It's in Spanish, right? Oh, it's <laughs> it's a, it's a... Uh, I think, uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. I think, uh huh. I think, uh huh. I think, uh huh. I think, uh huh. <laughs> what time is it? Son las nueve treinta y cuatro de la noche. Imagine you speak in English <laughs> and Google speak in Spanish. No. <laughs> when I when, when I know any any word for uh, in English only in Spanish I say Hey Google please help me where what the meaning mess in English and say me or table. <laughs> ah, nice, nice. Yeah. Maybe, maybe in the future, universal translator. Okay. <laughs> in this moment, we are going to read the article. We have many different parts for the article. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different paragraphs. So I need seven different people to read. Who is going to be the first one? Who's going to be number one? Uh, me. Okay. So number um, one is there. Number two, who is the number two? Yes, number me too, number. Teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. Number three, who's going to be number three? Me, teacher. All right, good. Number four? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Very nice. Number five? Me, teacher. Good, good. Number six? Me, teacher. Okay, and the last one, the last one? Me, teacher. 
All right, so everybody's going to participate. All right, let's take a look. Number one. Um, people used to know more or less how the children live. Live. How you live? Oh, sorry. Um, now, changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own life would be like in a few years. What's follow is how experts see the future. Okay, thank you very much. That's correct. Good. Number two. You are daydreaming behind the wheel of your car. But that's okay. You have it on automatic pilot. And with its high-tech computers, your car knows how to get you home safely. Mm -hmm. Imagine the car drive itself. Good. All right. Number three. You have for the kitchen when you get home. You order groceries by computer an hour ago and they be delivered. You pay for them before they arrive. The money, the money, the money was automatic. Reduces from your bank account. Nobody uses cash anymore. Okay, very nice. This is like super selectors in the pandemic. Delivery, right? You order from the house and they deliver. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. What for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop off to get hamburger or pizza. No, you use for diagnostic machine, you find out which foods your body needs. Your full preparation machine makes your salad. Oh, interesting, interesting. Go ahead, who's number uh, five? After lunch, you go down the hall to your home office. Here you have everything you need to do your work. You need, you never have to commute to work anymore. Uh -huh. So you work from home in a lot of things that are going to be in the future. Number six. Your information screen says that you receive a message from a co-worker in Brazil. You set your computer to translate Portuguese into English. Your co-workers face efforts on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. Working and go back Imagine automatic translation uh, super it, fast. And the last one? And look through, through you finish working and go back to your living room. It's you turn like on the television and look through the lip of How new about movie. Classic tonight? It's like it's having a video store in your home. How about a classic tonight? Maybe back to the future? Imagine it. Oh, wow. So which of these do you think is going to be true in the future? Which ones are true now? Uh, to Arturo, huh? Sorry, we don't hear you. Try again. I'm sorry, this, repeat this. No, no, we, we, it's difficult to hear you, Walter. What did you say? No, no, nothing. Nothing, ah, okay, okay. So for example, number seven here, you finish working and you, you go back to your living room and you look through the list of new movies. What is this? We have, th this exists today. What is this called? The office work. No, number seven, number seven, this one. What is this one? Many people use now, it's very common. No, no, understand what it is? Netflix. Correct, Will Walter, is Netflix. Netflix, you look and you only look for the movie you want or Disney Plus or HBO, that's it. 
and you select. Ah, okay. The same, for example, here, number six, Google Translate. Yes. Yeah. Use Google Translator. Mm -hmm. Many different things. So now we have a lot of things that we learned about the future. With your partner, you're going to answer the questions. The eight questions, are they true or false according to the information from the reading? So with information from the reading, is the information true or false?
Okay, we ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Yes. Great. Disculpa, no te entendí. <laughs> Sorry. Tatiana? Yes. You ready? What's number one? False. False. Okay, good. All right. Jaime, what's number two? Okay. Mercy, what's number two? False teacher. Number two is false. Okay, all right. No, false teacher. Sorry. No, what's number three? Uh, number three is true. True, okay. Yes. Good. All right. What about uh, Mary? What's number four? Oh. False. Okay. Yeah. Jose, what's number five? Uh, number five is false. Okay. False. Good. Aisa, what's number six? Is false. False, all right, good. Walter, what's number seven? It's true. True, okay. Juan Linares, what's number eight? Uh, oh. Number eight is four. False. True or false? False. False, okay. False. Hey, so as we can see, hang on, all of our answers, there we go. Correct, correct, correct. Look Before at that. Right, Super easy, the comprehension for that, the future and what's going to happen. Now, let's go back to the reading. Are there any words, any vocabulary you don't understand? Teacher, what, what's the meaning of daydreaming? Daydreaming is when you are dreaming and you are awake. You're imagining, ah, if I had $1 million, if I didn't have to work, this is daydreaming. You are dreaming, but not sleeping. Okay. Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. You order groceries by computer. Um, what is meaning? A grocery. Grocery is the food. Super selectos, despensa familiar. When you order the food, this is the grocery. Uh, okay, pero, but um, specific, specify the term grocery is the supermarket. The grocery is the, the food. Shopping okay. for food, uh huh. Okay, the food, okay, for food. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other vocabulary? <laughs> no. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Okay, great. So now we have, we are complete with unit two. This was the last exercise for unit two. We are ready to begin unit three, the day of tomorrow. First, we're going to read a little bit about the objective. Noe, can you please read the objective? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, in this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing a celebration. Good pronunciation. Celebration. 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 One more time. Se. Celebration. 
Celebration. Celebration. Correct. Correct. Good. So first we're going to learn some vocabulary. Look here. It's okay, all of this vocabulary? Mm. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay. Let's yes. listen to the video for vocabulary. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Very good. Remember, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. All the vocabulary was okay? I only uh, question teaching what is the meaning of wedding? Yes, teacher. Wedding. Wedding is when the people get married. Dun, 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 that is the wedding. Mm -hmm. And fireworks, teacher? The fireworks are the ideas for the lights, like in Christmas or in New Year's, uh, when they explode. These are the fireworks. Ah, uh, yes, yes, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? No? All right. In the, in the chat, we have a link to discuss the idea about parties and what you kind of parties you like to go to and what do you do in the different parties. So we're going to make our small groups and in our groups, we're going to answer the different questions that are there. It's not necessary to answer all of them, but select the questions that you like.
Okay, guys. Excellent job. This indicate we finished unit two. You should be finished unit one and two in the platform. Tomorrow, we continue talking about parties and using the different vocabulary that we learn and talking about the questions about the things that you like to do in the parties. Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Right. Okay, okay, teacher. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, have Bye, a nice teacher. Bye. 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 B